Hi everyone, Alan from Newlands Nursery. Hope you are well. And what we're doing today is sowing sweet peas. It is the perfect time of year to sow sweet peas. So you often sow them in the colder months. Um, so we're sowing it here in February. Um, and this is gonna be really, really easy to do. And you will absolutely love sowing sweet peas. Um, it's best to do it now. You'll get a longer flowering period. Um, and like I say, there's something that you can do well in advance. So it works really, really well. So what I wanna do first is I've got this tray here. You can see really big holes. So you could use a pot for sweet peas. No issue with doing that at all. Um, I'm using the tray just gonna be easier to move around. And if you've got one of those trays, it works well. So what I'll do is fill this with some compost. So it's just a multi-purpose compost. You can use a seed and cutting compost if you like, but with something like sweet peas, a multi-purpose will be fine. Um, a good quality one uh, works really, really well. So you'll see I tap this down and you always get some that sink a bit more than others in this corner. You can see that sunk a bit. So I'm just gonna top that up, not pushing the compost down. It's a big mistake people often make is they really compact the compost. It just makes it harder for the plant to get its roots down. So I've got three varieties here and I've got six holes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for one variety like that and then the other like that, just like that. So open up these seed packets and you'll see that sweet peas are quite large seeds. It's always a bit fiddly. Open up a packet, I'll tip it onto my hand just like that. So there's a few more just caught in the corners there. Always give it a check. Okay, so with sweet peas, we're sowing multiple seeds in each cell or in each pot if you're using pots. So I'm just gonna, to begin with, just place the seeds on the surface of the compost. And roughly speaking, when this one there's there's 10 seeds in this packet, so I'm gonna put five in each, just like that. So looking at this front one here, let's move that bit of twig out of the way. Looking at this front one here, what I'm gonna do is just very lightly push the seeds into the compost. Not too hard, so you can still see the seeds, but just very lightly push it in. Being quite a large seed, sweet peas like to be a little bit deeper than some seeds. So what I'm gonna do is just do that with the back one just like that. I'm obviously not measuring this, I'm just doing it by feel. So it, it isn't crucial or too crucial how deep you go, but obviously don't go really, really deep with it. And then what I'll do is cover it up. But first we've got to sow, oh dear. first we've got to sow the other seeds. So we're just repeating the process for all the other ones. So just spreading it across the cell, just like this. And again for the other one. They're such a good flowering plant. And actually we used to do a little gardening club for children. And they're such a good plant to grow with children because they germinate quite quite quickly. Uh, so they start coming through quite quickly and you get results quite quickly, uh, which is always good either for if you're doing it with children or if you're new to garden, you wanna see your results quickly rather than wait months and months to see anything. So then I just push down the seeds, moving over to the other side again, pushing down the seeds just like that. So now that's all that's left to do is give them a light covering. So I'm just gonna gently cover over with some more compost. Just like that. Okay, just so they're underneath the compost. Okay, just like that. So that's the sewing done. What you wanna do now is give it a good watering, which I'll do a little bit later, and then cover it up. Um, that really helps with the germination. So I've got this greenhouse lid, 
which you could put on it. If you've got one of those, that works really, really well. What that does is keep the moisture levels higher. So it's more likely to germinate. You'll get quicker germination with that. But I'm actually not gonna do that um, because I'm gonna put them in one of our growing greenhouses um, and we'll show you um, that in, in a second. So that is basically just a large version of this glasshouse lid. So let's show you that. So we've, after sowing, we've bought all the seeds that we've sown in here. Um, and this effectively is like a big mini greenhouse. So a lot of people cover their seeds with polythene bags, with various different things to keep the moisture up. And that's all we do here. Um, so you can see I've put the seeds here and this here is the polythene. As you look down there, you can see all the cuttings we've got here. There's some seeds at the end there as well. Um, but we're going to put them here, give them a good water. Um, and what that'll do is keep the moisture levels higher. So we're going to get better germination. Um, so exactly the same as what we're recommending you do at home, um, just on a slightly bigger scale.